Hi, I'm Michael Beardsley, and today I'm going to talk about cancel culture. Now, there are those people that will say that, oh, that doesn't exist. Oh, no, it very much exists for actors. It's no question. I mean, for other people, too. But I'm here to talk about how it relates to actors. Now, there are three types of cancellations, if you will, in my opinion. Let me clarify. Even within the categories that I'm going to mention, there are definitely magnitudes of offense. And they should not all be clumped together. But for sake of this video, I'm going to clump them all together. Number one, the Kevin Spacey type. Their offenses were on the job, on the set, repeated over the course of years, in some cases possibly criminal, and of course very plausible. I have no problem with these kind of people losing their jobs and not being hired for future jobs. And you shouldn't either. You shouldn't behave like that. So I guess that's the first piece of advice in this video. The second type is the Gina Carano type. Now, if you don't know who she was, she played Cara Dune on The Mandalorian. She was fired from the show after she made several controversial tweets. And she was warned. And she chose to continue. Now, should she be fired for something she does in her private life? Personally, I would say no. But that is Disney's prerogative to do. And what could have been great for her career, was already great for her career, is now done. Maybe she can go back to American Gladiators. So that's the second piece of advice here is, if your employer warns you not to do something, if you want to keep your job, don't do that. The third type is Hartley Sawyer. Now, I'm guessing most of you don't know who Hartley Sawyer is. He was an actor for a few years on the CW show, The Flash. He played Elongated Man or Ralph Dibney. He was fired because of some tweets he had made many years earlier. He made numerous, very misogynistic tweets. They were clearly intended as very dark comedy, shock humor, that sort of thing. I didn't find him funny and he deleted them. Fast forward to uh, last year, he was fired because somebody, one of you guys out there, had taken some screenshots of them. He apologized again. They still fired him. They didn't even let him finish out the season. They just fired him. So the third piece of advice, what you say now when you are not famous or not on a TV show can come back to bite you in, in the butt when you are and there's nothing you can do to stop it. That is why I am not gonna say anything controversial here. The most controversial thing I'm gonna say is that I disagree with the firing of Hartley Sawyer. And that's really not that controversial. It's really shocking at how in years past, politicians had to worry about anything they did in their past. Bill Clinton got raked over the coals for smoking a marijuana cigarette. He had to say, I didn't inhale. Of course he inhaled. But that was an actual issue in that election. And now politicians can be guilty of sexual assault and get elected president. It's really turned around. So just watch what you say on social media and on videos like such as this, because who knows where it's going to turn next. So my final piece of advice, which is a more general piece of advice, is watch what you say on social media and on videos like this one. Because even if it's appropriate today, maybe it won't be appropriate in two years from now. And I hate to say it, it shouldn't be that way, but it is. So that's all for me today. I will see you next time.
in some cases possibly criminal,